I feel like I want to video record this stuff. Uh, I'm pretty sure, despite all kinds of assurances, uh, news even, that would match the news from MK Ultra on how West will get in the war and assist Ukraine uh, with direct strike on Russia. No longer through the military assistance to Russia, but with direct strike on Russia, that something like this is never going to take place. I am pretty damn sure that all broke out war is not going to take place. What you see here, that's the news I'm going to start with. Lately, Vladimir Putin is depicted like a loser, like now it's been like this all the time, but Putin is losing his cool. As you can see right there, Zelensky posing with U.S. Patriot missile on general. The help to Ukraine from the West simply was overwhelming. British are going to send even tanks after they have sent some incredibly uh, expensive rockets, projectiles, and they all came with a price tag. They, they claimed the price tag for every one of them, how good those were. Uh, Putin says right there, lost his nerves, humiliated minister, gave one an ultimatum. A Putin mad because of NATO, because of what NATO just did. And then you, you understand English language anyhow. I don't have to go through that. Um, I don't think that Putin is mad. I don't think that Putin lost nerves. I think that Putin is doing just fine. This here is a hypocrisy, a German hypocrisy. Um, at its best, Germany is concerned about Navalny. You know, the news that you see right there just exposes everything about the Germany you ever need to know. I was tortured inside of the European Union. We're brought by United States of America Central Intelligence Agency. For 28 years, the torture went on since 1995. You know, I'm talking about the real torture, not about what you see right there, for which Germany knows very good would take place. That's the stuff they negotiated with Putin. That's the stuff that they negotiated with Alexei Navalny. So, for me to say, clearly the news demonstrates that Russia is not for sale and is not going to be for sale any time. As for European Union, where I am located, as American citizen also, citizen of Slovenia and American citizen, Germans don't give a fuck, involved since 1995 in crime as the main party, European Union continent now main party committed crime against me on behalf of British and Americans they don't give a fuck about me they don't know anything about me so let me explain to you Russia is there to stay Vladimir Putin too
I would have come already and say, many of you probably think about European Union, why the Brexit took place, what's going on with the Brexit. The Brexit is okay. The Brexit is a deal between a private deal between Britain and Germany. Brexit allows British a little bit extra while practically remaining European Union member by Germans, I shouldn't say remaining European Union member, but keeping the status, the trade status, the one had before uh, as a European Union member, thanks to the Germany. They're not missing anything out on. It's a question when it comes to European Union. Who hunted one more? Was it Germany or Britain? Well, the answer is the two work together all along as one. European Union, this is a um, I think it's a blessing. Abused and destroyed by the Germany and Britain. With uh, the main countries that don't really give a fuck about whether one is going to exist tomorrow or not. That's why British exercise disdain for human rights concerning also European Union. And then exited one. It's a temporary thing. Um, even the European Union will climb back to where it was, to its existence. I wouldn't bet into any other stuff Americans claimed it's going to take place, how they're going to strike uh, Russia uh, and so on and so forth. I think, honestly, I think nothing is going to happen. Uh, the only thing that's going to happen is Russia will emerge out with Crimea, Donetsk uh, and good portions of Ukraine, good whatever they, they uh they occupied, that's going to be the final result of loser Vladimir Putin as they regard to one as, well, demonstrating all the victories and everything else. Why do I think like this? I think like this. I think that, I think that United States of America and European Union uh, don't have really anything they could use to counter uh, I'm not going to say Russian attack because they do have that. They do have technology that would, at least that's what I assume, based on their claims, uh, intercept Russian ICBM toys, self-destructive toys. They do have that. Uh, but they are not going to go beyond the possibilities of radiation and that kind of stuff. So, in my opinion, everything is a sham. Everything here that you see is a buffoon. I think a lot of people were buffooned just like I was except that I was drugged up but I'm here to tell you based on the media I see based on the news I see news that matters Putin is there to stay 
and nothing is to change, including these people here. They're buying time, they're creating artificial crisis in certain areas of the world. Crisis that we see, many of these crises also are artificial crises. They're not real crises. And it's all that kind of stuff to promote no other than Vladimir Putin. The one who is, is emerging out of this buffony is no other than Vladimir Putin. Vladimir Putin is there to stay together also possibly with Navalny. Uh, they're buying time. And when I say they're buying time, I talk about my personal health-related issues for which nobody inside of the European Union or United States of America, for that matter, knows anything about it. And that's what I think the whole thing is all about. Nothing will change. We have entered, we are entering almost into a, uh, a year of war in Ukraine, which had as a result a tremendous loss of civilian uh, population, I should say tremendous sacrifice in Ukrainian civil population. I have entered now for me at least this year of cancer-related issues, which are completely, completely unbearable to put up with. And it's interesting about MKUltra. Do you know what MKUltra is? MKUltra is timing. Uh, another word for MKUltra, it's approaching to the sixth year with cancer thrombosis issues, not a good stuff. The second word for MK Ultra. that's what Donald Trump teach me. Donald Trump personally teach me about that. The second word about MK Ultra is timing, time, because those involved in MK Ultra in issue as such as this one here, they are in control of the torture. They are, in, they are in a complete, complete control of events from the past and are using those events from the past to cause as much as possible also, even mainly psychological damage. So you're wasted physically and you're wasted, you're destroyed psychologically. So MK Ultra, folks, this is known as timing. And West, United States of America, Great Germany are awarding themselves with another victory next to the one with Russia in respect to Ukraine, which they brokered through Zelensky. They are going to be awarded with another victory. And that's as Kate Middleton referred to as a long, long nightmare after which everything, the house, home, life, family, her family is going to be lighting up. Everything is going to be wonderful, beautiful then. And that's my case. That's what this is about. Joe Biden, bad luck. There's been a lot of files that's been discovered in his garage after I posted a video about Pope Francis and Vatican in general. Associated American Saint Joe Biden with Pope Francis. He does have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous bad luck, this American president who guaranteed me I'm going to rotten inside of this room on the floor. That's how he referred to me as.
what do I think I am and this and that. He had a lot, a lot of big words for me, uh, promises, all kinds of stuff. But, you know, there's this song with a little look. It will never come true. You can go to my website and you can see what I post about Pope Francis. Why I reject Vatican control. And match that with the news of Joe Biden. To see how United States of America have designed this crime to excuse, apologize one. Joe Biden was in this thing only for one thing. And it's basically to get me killed. That's about it. Since day one. Donald Trump became optimistic. Donald Trump now became loud. Donald Trump became extremely, extremely, extremely loud. He threatens with lawsuits. Donald Trump claims that those that cause, as I also was the one who claimed, that Contrary to either Biden or Trump or Pelosi or any of the people involved in this crime against me. I claimed, and I claim, that January 6th was a work of both political parties. And it's completely, completely indifferent from crisis, NATO. United States of America are creating in other parts of the world together with uh, their allies or their, their Russian allies. Yeah, I remain in agreement. I remain with the claim that uh, the United States of America. Its Western allies, British allies, work very, very closely together with Vladimir Putin, with uh, uh, with uh, with uh, Russia. I I remain. I remain partisan to opinion. In respect to Russian British collaboration cooperation. Definitely do. I, I remain indifferent critic from British Russian deal which those have made together with Germans in respect to Ukraine. I do. I do. I do. The documents they have just uh, found in Joe Biden's garage, the classified documents, this is the news that is, this is the news that was involved in MK Ultra. This is yet another threat. And it was a Joe Biden threat. If I'm going to go and I will critic one, that the only thing that's going to happen is they're going to find the documents. Yeah. So who is going to find documents, Mr. Schizophrenic Joe Biden, violent, paranoid as you are? Who is going to find the documents, sir?
tell me about who's going to find documents. Who the fuck is going to find documents? Who is they? Who is they? What are you? You're not the United States of America president? No, you were not involved in crime against me since 1995. Together with Pope John Paul, together with Pope Francis. Who is they? Who is they? Who is they? Who is they? And why have you brought me? Why have you brought me? To Vatican for for what? Why, demon Joe Biden? Why did you bring me to? Why? Tell me. Why did you bring me to Vatican to meet your porn approving Pope Francis? Why? What is in it for you? And for Pope Francis, you explain to me what what is in it. What do you want? What do you want from me? You destroyed me 28 years of life. What is it that you don't understand? What, which part of it is it that you do not understand in respect to what you have done to me? Which part is it in you that you did not understood that compelled you for you to wait up to date to resolve this issue which part of it was it there for you to not have solved my problem which is 28 years now it's going to that 29 year immediately upon your award presidential award which part of it was there that you or pope francis as a pope that was involved in this crime and would not resolve one for 28 more years and it goes the same to germany that claimed was a, such an ally that it was just uh on my side all the time with me and so on and so forth like which part guys that is it what what exactly is it is it probably was it really that you afraid of vladimir putin of bad, bad Putin, isn't it? Isn't it that you had so much fear from Vladimir Putin that you don't fear to send tanks to Ukraine? You don't send you you don't fear to send weapons to Ukraine, but you fear so much of admitting crime against me. Clearly, 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 there is no such thing as confidential documents other than those American government authorized Joe Biden to bring them home. And that's exactly identical garbage. The same thing. And this stuff was, ladies and gentlemen, involved in MKUltra. They brainwashed Joe Biden personally, just as... American President Donald Trump brainwashed about how they're going to find documents at his place, uh, how even he's going to make documents disappear from the White House. If I'm not going to like him and this and that. The same, completely the same identical kitchen, except that Joe Biden is when they find the documents and this and that, that's already too late for you. So let me ask you guys, you don't have enough of torture? You are sadistic. What what are you? What are you in respect to this? What are you? It's a nightmare. It's like a Kate Middleton have stated. When you dead, when you die, that's when my home becomes again alive. That's when everything comes back to life. Everything be again becomes beautiful. My family, again, me, I, my husband, William. You know what I mean? Which part is it that you guys don't understand about me, but you understand about Navalny? You explain to me. Which is the part that you don't understand about me, but you understand about Navalny? Which is the part? Today, I understand the part about Russian tanks. The number of the Russian tanks destroyed. 
for which you claimed me, you're going to be worthy something based on the number of the Russian tanks destroyed. It's not true. It's you, it's Putin. And it's your lie you attempted to use to brainwash me and also to brainwash other people on how to see something as that doesn't exist. This guy here, this guy should be jailed under all normal circumstances. This guy should be jailed, this guy should be imprisoned. And this is just not the this is just not the case. You see what this is? One day they report one thing, another day they report something else. Donald Trump doesn't deny anything. Donald Trump doesn't... Donald Trump is acting as a clown on behalf of my newly founded homeland, United States of America, in my face. He's expressing, expressing an ultimate derision for what I stated in the face of the world with the journalists that will come here to murder, to kill, to torture. In fact, most of the work, 75% of the torture that was done on me inside of my room in front of the laptop in front of the computer it was a post torture on physical torture which take place they would physically torture death threatened during severe sleep deprivation terrorized involve all kinds of issues uh, based on health concerns future health concerns, 75% of it was done by the journalists beginning the 1990, as early as 1996 maybe even, not 97, British were the first who introduced BBC and CNN journalists as something, as a beast that will destroy me literally. They started to build a profile on me. They first got journalists to be acquainted with my case. Journalists were involved, mainstream media, Western journalists were involved in this crime since 1995. And then they started to build against me something that would portray me as either paranoid or a terrorist, whatever they would manage to produce. And that kind of stuff eventually, sometimes in 1999, turned into a different kind of torture, into a torture which I, I have explained. That's a post-torture in front of the laptop they started to interpret for me how to see the news in the most depressive, suicidal way possible. 75% of that, it was done by American, sorry, Western journalists, mainly Americans and British because of the English language, because of the language, uh, language itself. Out of brainwash, 25%, whatever, uh, that was just a police police torture that was just interpretation of all kinds of lies they did that were based on There was no January 6. The riot of January 6 were people 
that were super, super, super misled to follow a path of self-destruction. This path of radicalism, of self-destruction, this was American government stunt Donald Trump deeply was involved in. Donald Trump alone incited, coordinated with other politicians attack on the U.S. Congress. And it's how they estimated as necessity Radicals, in a parenthesis, would be removed, taken away. Reduced, removed. January 6 was designed as a stunt, not a game changer, not a, not something that will have an on on the United States of America as whole, as something that would give some kind of different platform to American uh, politics. January 6, January 6 is a riot that's taken to nowhere, it took to nowhere. It's a stunt more than anything. A lot of people, a lot of people, they pushed over the edge. Got nailed through January 6, their lives destroyed. I'm going to put the news about Donald Trump hiding the January 6th. How about Donald Trump threatening with the lawsuits? Why is that stuff gone now? Because I don't see the news that's being used to ban Donald Trump as. That's the news that we have seen was displayed branded Donald Trump on a Yahoo for a several days. Where the hell is that stuff now? That's also gone. I'm going to put that news. That was a headline, a main news on a Yahoo for several days, how Donald Trump is going to start suing and so on. I don't see that news and I'm using a Android right now to video record that stuff. Where the hell is that news? How Donald Trump is going to sue her and this and that. Donald Trump. What about Donald Trump? What is the Donald Trump? What is the difference between Donald Trump and Joe Biden? What is the difference between the two? Or Kate Middleton and these people? There's only one difference there is.
And that's the difference I have stated in this video. As for other difference, there is no difference. It's a big screen media. It's a big deal. And it's called a temporary exclusion of Russia from Council of Europe. That's what the fuck this is all about. You know who is leader leading the Council of Europe? Take a wild guess. Britain, not anymore. Because it's called European Union. So it must be then the biggest British partner. And that's basically the one that is expressing so many fakes, so many fake concerns, lies in our faces on a daily basis. The one who was in it to get me killed since 1995, next to Britain and Germany, excuse me, next to United States of America and Great Britain. And that's not difficult to point. It's called Germany. That's all there is to it. Nothing will change. We see a lot. I see a lot, a lot of stuff they negotiated. They negotiated a temporary exclusion of Russia from Council of Europe. You know, Russia is going to get back into the Council of Europe. That I'm going to tell you today, too. They negotiated that stuff, too, during MK Ultra. They did not negotiate the return of Russia inside of the Council of Europe, which from where one was thrown out, shouldn't even be in there. It's not European Union member state, whatever. But it was there. A place where I was brought beginning. The 1990... 1990... I was brought here by French and British. The same thing like with the CNN, with the BBC journalists, the same fucking shit, the same thing, the same thing. They were doing, completing some kind of finishing outside Still in 1999, Vladimir Putin became a frequent member of Council of Europe. Beginning 1998, he became a completely frequent visitor together with the Lavrov of this place here. Because before he became a president of Russia be before he started to play a really important role in Russia on a top political stage. He became a frequent visitor. He knew the people we see on a political stage now as the main players still see them on a political stage now inside of the European Union. We still get to see these dinosaurs. They're still climbing back and forth and uh, rolling over one another. Lies back and forth, pretending to see no nothing, acting ignorant. Fain. That's what this shit is about. That's what this is about.
and the Kate Middleton's home become again happy. That's all there is. There was a lot of misery that was stressed in my face, but who the hell would have thought that I hunted them so much that it was so painful for them. to see themselves in a mirror. Thanks for watching this video today. Yeah, really, what day it is today? 14 it is, but I gotta prove this. For this Sunday. Fate. Fate is a much bigger deal than date, that's for sure. When you kill faith in one, hope, then you have won the war. That's how they want. In fact, it's a Sunday January the 15th, 2023. Thanks for watching this video. Till next time. Nothing will change. Nothing will change. Uh, nothing will change. If anything is going to change, uh, based on what I see, it all goes on. Contrary to Brexit, you're going to see one joining back to European Union. Nothing is going to change. Nothing ever changed. Nothing.